to do a lot of here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kai, spelled K-A-I. If you're new here, welcome. Grab some tea, grab a snack, and let's just hang out. I wanted to start off this vlog with something very exciting and relaxing. I got a thermal printer recently, and I feel like I should have invested in it sooner. I think the fact that it was a bill, like a Benjamin, really scared me off. Not that I'm getting orders left and right, but I want to get orders left and right and I want to align my business for that kind of growth. And so something that makes the process of shipping orders more efficient is definitely a yes in my book. <laughs> Packaging orders is so therapeutic. Thank you again, Hosam. I've also been testing out my washi tapes. I've concluded that they are amazing and these are gonna be available at my shop pretty soon. So stay tuned. People have described me as a workaholic. So I pretty much work day in and day out. And I have some commissions that I'm trying to finish up and I have a few more coming up. Some commissions are more illustrative digital work, digital work, while others are portraitures in oil and colored pencils. So it's really hard for me to narrow down what my exact style is because I've learned so many different kinds and I think I'm okay with that. One day I'll settle down and hone in on one style, but for now I, I just really like experimenting. <laughs> With all the things that are on my plate, I do try to make it a habit to write in my gratitude journal every day. One to two sentences in the morning and one to two sentences at night. It just helps my frame of mind when I start and end my day feeling grateful. How do you practice gratitude? Do you have a gratitude journal? And if you do, let me know. I hope your day is going well. I hope it's going swimmingly. I think you look really cute today. the blow
fun hip hop music. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> They're so pretty, they're so vibrant. Good lighting. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I don't want to do monologue here. I don't want to do monologue here. It's not a perfect ratio. It was really hot outside. Remember the gift from earlier? Yes, we got an espresso machine. I'm so stoked. I say that about a lot of things in my life, but I am genuinely so excited to try this espresso machine. Looking back at the footage now, it's really funny to me that I read the instructions and then I messed up in a really big way. You'll see in a little bit. And we also got a coffee grinder because we're fancy and we're doing fancy things here at the Kaifunated Studio. You know, as much as I try to make my gratitude journal a daily habit, sometimes I just get really busy. Around this time it was for my birthday and it all works out because I can sit down and remember all the great things that happened within those days and it makes me smile. Still, it's gonna be a fun project. I can help you next weekend. The order na lang nato tana sa kuan sa online para we don't have to go out. Yung mag gardening na lang tana next week. Yeah, well, we can do that, and I can try to figure out what paint stuff we need for the frames. Don't don't forget to sunscreen. No! Put sunscreen on your face too. Alright. Okay, bye! Love you, bye! Also, I ordered a few things on Amazon to really maximize the espresso making experience. Oh, and some Cricut tools because we're gonna be making stickers, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you wanna join the barista journey with me, I'll be sure to leave the links in the description if you wanna check them out, along with the shop stuff that I mentioned in the video, cause it got you. To be honest with you, I look forward to this part of my morning routine. I mean, I still have my pour over, but let me tell you, there's nothing more rewarding than the loud grinding of coffee beans first thing in the morning. It's payback for my upstairs neighbor who keeps dropping things at 3 a.m. But seriously, the smell of fresh ground coffee beans in the morning is romantic and poetic. <laughs> 
and I'm saving money. So, win-win. But also not good. <laughs> I should have frothed the. I should have frothed. Why am I such a. Why am I having such a hard time saying that? I should have frothed the milk more. I totally missed the step in where you had to stop the espresso machine <laughs> from pouring the water. I'm just so used to the Keurigs where they just stop it for you. It's not bad. Maybe I'll make a second batch like right now. You know, just to get the hang of it. Watch me be like super amped. <laughs> I'm so Abby. If you watched Turning Red, I feel like I'm Abby. I'm half Abby, half May. <gasps> Are you kidding me? No, wait. So my fiddle leaf fig I thought was on the verge of death because it's up by the window and as much as I love it, it's just fickle and all of its leaves from this one stem fell off. I just left it alone, but I see two little baby leaves. Hold on, let me turn you around. It's the cutest little thing. That makes me so freaking happy. I'm telling you, 2022. It's gonna be a good year for both of us. What's your name? What am I naming my fiddly fiddy? Gertrude. Fran. Let's call you Fran. Fran the fig. Freddy. Freddy? Let me know which name we should go with. Fran or Freddy? Or F Francois. <laughs> I love alliteration so much. So anything that starts with an F as a name for our, fid our fiddly fig, let me know in the comments. Let's go to my desk so we can plan all the fun things in store for us in April. How do you plan your weeks? How do you plan your months? I used to be a strictly bullet journaler but I've become a hybrid since then. So I start off with my physical bullet journal and then I transition to an app called ClickUp where I manage everything on the go. And I do go back to my journal just to check in and write stuff down. One thing that's really important to me with keeping up with my journal is my monthly spreads, my gratitude log, and my weekly spreads can differ. Sometimes I'm more digital and I'm on ClickUp more. Sometimes I like to write things down and plan things out. How do you plan stuff? I'd love to know. Man, when is mama's birthday again? April 13, 1941. Okay, that's all. All right, love you, bye. Love you. Bye. I used to put so much emphasis on my bullet journal and the spreads. I saw so many people do these beautiful spreads, but to me, it wasn't productive. I would feel guilty for not putting effort in the monthly spreads, and I would actually start dreading planning things because I can't keep up. So what I've found for myself that makes bullet journaling really effective is to just make it functional. It's okay that it's functional. And the way I decorate it is with washi tapes. It doesn't take a lot of time and it gives my journal just enough color and enough life, but still is mostly functional. I also love hand lettering the month and the word gratitude for my gratitude log. To me, that's enough. That's enough effort. Mm -hmm. 
I'm also trying out the rolling weekly type of bullet journal where you have the entire week or two weeks on the left side and then on the right side is just a list of to-dos. So far, I'm liking it better because I don't have to rewrite the tasks that have been moved to a different day. So you got to see a glimpse of my bullet journal and how I set up monthly spreads. Link me and tag me on Instagram so I can also see how you set up your bullet journal. I would really love to see them. Or if you just want to talk about creative stuff, small shop stuff, or planner stuff, or bullet journaling stuff, leave a comment down below, or just say hello. Any of that stuff would make me smile. Oh, and if you also hit the like button, that would also make me smile. <laughs> Thank you, you're the best. the day went by so fast like that it's 8 p.m. and I think I'm about done I was creating a presentation to send to a vendor so we can try to burn some screens I don't know if I told you guys but my brothers and I invested in a screen press I'm so stoked because we are gonna be able to print awesome merch um, my older brother Andrew he goes by Prismadelic on Instagram. He is the one who produces most of my music on my videos. He's an audio engineer. He makes music, he collaborates with other artists. Um, we're gonna make shirts for him because he is going to release his EP. Me, the middle, the middle child. I am the artist. I, well, I guess all of us are artists in our own way, but I'm an illustrator and graphic designer. And my younger brother, Alvin, he's a videographer, cinematographer, director of photography. <laughs> so it's really cool. Like it's, dare I say awesome, but it's awesome to have siblings that are also in the creative industry because we work really well together so far. <laughs> and I don't even really know if I should be showing this to you guys. Ask for forgiveness later. <laughs> Andrew, he's gonna release his own music soon. So he wants to launch his music with um, the sounds gravy and this is an illustration that I created for him and then for me you guys have seen this before there was a hiccup in the process but now we are gonna move forward with this I'm so freaking excited and then maybe some case smiley shirts I think that's gonna be super cool and fun and maybe like a smile more often shirt and then for ingenious society for Alvin it's gonna be a logo shirt. I can't even remember exactly everything that I filmed for this week's vlog but I hope you had fun because I'm pretty sure I did or else I wouldn't be filming. Um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up it really helps me out. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me here at the Kaifenated studio. Um, if there's any suggestions at all for future studio vlogs that you want to see just let me know in the comments below. If you like hanging out with me then please hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!